We are having our art sale here. I'm Laurel. This is Olive. I'm Valerie. And I'm Emma. We are Love on the Road. Yeah, we, we went all out, you know, at times with our disco parties, you know, we had lasers. With that fog. tapestry going and... Oh yeah, we had a whole... This is a short-term rental. We own a house on, in the Old North End that's already been rented out for a while. So we moved here downsizing knowing that we were okay. So. What do you guys need air person for? I don't know. I just figured as a homeowner, you should have one. Can we pressure wash <laughs> things with this? I know that's what I was thinking. Can't Does you it? Know? I mean, like, yeah. It's a pressure like... washer. Wrong thing, Matt. Wrong I thing. Sold that air power. Tool. I, uh, that yeah. Air power tool. Oh my god! I have the exact it's same one. Not too much stuff. I think actually that. A lot of history coming out here. Only kissing me like this on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Should we put it out with a free sign? Any of this stuff? That is often an option. If nobody comes for the free stuff, then you've got to haul it off anyway. The rest of this stuff is being hauled away. Three days of yard sales. Now we're hauling the rest of what people didn't take to the thrift store. Hi. We have we have a few minutes, right? Uh, no, uh, we've actually been closed for the past hour. It says hour. six. Uh, yeah, but our donations are closed at five. Our uh, donation station up off of Centennial still stays open till six, I believe. <laughs> So the first thrift store we tried to go to was closed. So we found one. It's open late. And when you move into an RV, what you gotta remember is it's going down the road, bouncing over everything you drive over, and all of your stuff can move everywhere. You get to your destination and open your cupboards and things are all over the place. And so we have been spending a lot of time before we even move in here, figuring out things like mounting paper towels so they'll stay put, and baskets to put spices in, we're going to use things like Velcro to hold it in place to keep it from sliding around. There's cool things like collapsible strainers, dish strainers, and things so you can fold them up nice and compact and stuff them in a small space. Super handy. These trailer walls, RV walls, generally are, you can see that flexing. There's hardly anything behind there to, to attach anything to. They make these adhesive strips that stick on there when you attach that. So I've been spending a lot of time just going through and doing all these little things that we know we're going to need. Putting cell phone charger cords in places where they're needed and mounting things that we need that we know we're gonna need. The pillows are kind of flat. What? I said the pillows are kind of flat. There is, it's not a pillow. Oh. No, it's not a pillow. You know what? Yep, yeah. yeah, I am a pillow. Now I can lay on it. Oh, that's better. Actually, that's a little too... Okay, yeah, that's... Oh, now this pillow is, is comfortable. Oh. And then the bar key 
Like if we decide we would just... We can use that blur piece. Oh, we have to take it with us because that's our life source. We're a little bit dragon people. A little bit. I'm We've dying done a lot here. of work here. And we're sick. Yes, don't feel so good. Uh, I don't have the bins for my clothes. I was thinking I could do my clothes today. That's what I was thinking. Mama, can you help me? Oh. Mama's mom is gonna help you. Okay. Mom! Okay, so I was thinking about putting oh. another bin over there. But everybody has clothes. Well, tomorrow is when we're supposed to be out of that house and completely into that one. Chaos going on in the trailer. Stuff being organized everywhere. The, the garage here. I got all nice and cleaned out. Everything that's in here now belongs to the house. We still have disaster in here. We're working on, there's still stuff everywhere. This house was fully furnished, so the furniture and things in here stay, luckily. And the beds, so we don't have to move those. Thank God. But there's stuff, still. It's gonna be so nice to be moved permanently into that. I tell you, I'm so tired of stuff I could scream. Now we're here at Valerie's mom's house to store the stuff we couldn't get rid of that we still possess. <laughs> That's not going with us. So we're trying to go out to dinner for a last time. Last time. Last night in Colorado Springs. After and territory days. After territory days, which happens on Memorial Day weekend. And every single place we've tried to go for dinner has been closed so far. Then we finally find a place that was open, said they could seat us, then we get there and no seats. No seats. So now we're driving to yet another place. And we have three other cars following us to these places. <laughs> oh, and it's like 50 degrees outside, yes, so. Yes, it's cold. It's saying leave. It's never going to be warm here. It was 80 something degrees the other day when we were having our yard sale and then now it's... Some of us like the predictable warm all the time, like... Yes. She's a queen of the Amazonian forest. That's why we're getting in our travel trailer and we're chasing the warm. <laughs> and finding the magic in every moment. Yes. That was our mantra. We're supposed to say that all the time. Finding the magic in every moment. Where's the magic in this moment? Oh my god, hopefully when we pull up in the taco shop is open. If the Santos is not open, we go to McDonald's. No! We can't go to McDonald's, ever. <laughs> I always tease her about that. We're never going to McDonald's. You said they were going to cater our wedding. <laughs> you said you were going to take me there on our first date. Yes. Golden arches. Golden arches. Maybe that dude was hanging out the window. Let's see if they're actually open. Mitchell has something to say. I have something to say. There will be tacos. What do you want to say? Do you want to sit across from me? Do you guys want to keep it? I'll take it. Oh. Oh, well, let's get Where are you going to park? You can stay with us for free and all that. Okay, that'd be cool. I said bye. Don't roll up the window, my head's gonna be sticking out. Okay. Well, we're rolling out. And smaller space. What do you think, Mop? Do you not know where your phone is? I wonder if you left it back. Oh, you can location it, babe. Why didn't we think about that before?
Look at you, you're photogenic. We stopped at our favorite sandwich shop, Colonel Mustard's, on our way out of town. Just getting some gas. Come on, he's got groceries. We're not getting the verb. We're not getting Rose Line. But when you're in the middle of nowhere in Rye, Colorado, and you got a 4.6 with a hundred reviews. Coffee shop's been open for 30 years, but it's fine. We stopped in Walsenburg, Colorado to go to the bathroom, make some Arrow Press coffee in the trailer, walk the poodle. You ever stayed with us before? Alright, I'll need you to fill out all that red right there. Alright, you are right here. You're going to go to the south end of the parking lot past the red guard shack. We are in a fire van right now, so no open fires, just propane. Check this out. Our bedroom window. What the heck? Faces the sand dunes. What the heck? That is so pretty. This wind is crazy. of the sand dunes and the sunset.
true. Thoughts about Crestone? Um, I like it. What do you like about it? It's pretty. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Needing gas, but the only gas station here is this one here with a very tight situation. Mm -hmm. 